Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to explain the equation for the volume of a cylinder. And to do so, I want to start in two dimensions by looking at the equation for the area of a circle. When we have some circle with radius r, the area of the circle is pi r squared. And we want to use this equation to help derive an equation for the volume of a cylinder. So first let's analyze the dimensions of a cylinder. We note with any cylindrical object, we have that the top and the bottom of the cylinder are in the shape of a circle. But as it turns out, if I were to slice this cylinder horizontally at any point, I would generate another circle with radius r. And what this tells us is that the circle at the top of a cylinder, the bottom of the cylinder, and anywhere throughout the cylinder is exactly the same. That is, they have the same dimensions, the same radius. So now how does this help us generate an equation for the volume of a cylinder? Well, now it gives us a new interpretation of the volume of a cylinder. Now we can think about the volume of a cylinder as simply a stack of two-dimensional circles. So now if the equation for the area of a circle is pi r squared, then what we're doing is we're stacking these individual pi r squares. Because remember, the surface area of a circle is pi r squared. So we're stacking pi r squared and we're going to keep doing this how many times? Well, we're going to do this h times. The height of the cylinder determines how high we're going to stack these individual two-dimensional circles. So then it'll follow that the volume of a cylinder is simply pi r squared, but now we're going to multiply by this new dimension, height. So this gives us the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height. So this is a kind of an informal proof of the equation for the volume of a cylinder, but it's just a convenient way to, for one, remember the equation because you just need the area of a circle and now you're just introducing a new variable of height. So it follows that it's pi r squared times height. But it's also important to have that conceptual understanding that a cylinder is a stack of two-dimensional circles. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on the explanation of the cylinder. Thank you all for watching and I hope this was helpful.